J. Barnett. My name is Scenic Woods. My name is Arnett Watson. My name is Courtney Hunt. My name is Kendrick Mays. Ah, uh, Quentin Fondo. My name is Alfred Williams. My name is Frederick Alonzo, and I am the writer, director, and producer of Science Hill Delivered. Uh, the character that I play, Mac, is a, um, Mac is a very, uh, he's a smart guy, he's an intelligent guy, he's a businessman, even though he's uh, a drug kingpin, and he's not your, uh, your hustler, you know, he's a suit and tie guy. I mean, you wouldn't know he's in the streets, you know, um, unless you really know him. But uh, of course, my character has uh, has a life-changing decision when he takes a man's life, and I think that was really uh, the, the turning point for, uh, for Mac. Um, my character is um, pretty complex. Uh, Gina is a lost soul, um, and I say that to say that at one time she was actually saved. Um, her mother is um, someone that raised her to be in the church, but along the way she kind of got lost. And so uh, you see Gina kind of go through, you know, like us all, like we all do in life, kind of go through this transformation. So you get to kind of go on her um, dysfunctional roller coaster. Okay, well, Mama Sheila is uh, the glue of the family. Uh, she holds it all together, and even though she's a widow and she has these wayward kids, she loves them and she has brought them up, you know, believing in God and brought them up the right way, but some way they've strayed like a lot of children do when one parent is missing. So I believe that since they lost, the, since her children lost, their father that, you know, they strayed. You know, like, why did God do this to us? Why did he take daddy? So God didn't love us. I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna go that way. So she just tries to keep it all together and keep the family together. Well, Troy is, Troy is filled with envy. He's filled with hate. Troy is filled with rage. Uh, you see, Troy always felt like uh, uh, growing up, you know, he's always had the, the, uh, the uh, short end of the stick. That's just how it appeared, how it seemed to him. But that's, you know, that, that's not true. That was just his perception of his world. Uh, Troy's best friend, his boy, his ace boom coon, was Mac, is Mac. Uh, so, you know, I mean, he, he's, he loves, I mean, actually, Troy really does love Mac, but he's also jealous of Mac. He's so jealous of Mac that he wants everything from Mac, secretly. So he kind of secretly plots Mac. Uh, Rufus is um, annoying. Uh, he's annoying, he eats everything up. Uh, he get on people's nerves, uh, he go in your refrigerator. Uh, but he's loving, he's kind, he's caring, but at the same time, he's goofy and annoying. I play a 10-year-old girl who's loving and caring, but is torn between her mother and her grandmother. Uh, Jason is a 33-year-old man who actually stays with his mom. And in the process of him staying with his mom, Jason thinks he's a player. So he's trying to play three different types of women bringing him in and out of mom's house and doing whatever he can to keep a cool profile so mom won't, won't know. My character in the movie, uh, I'm a boss. Uh, I'm a, I mean, everybody fears me. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm Mac Big's cousin, so I ain't trying to hear at all. I went into the kitchen in my house and I, I made a peanut butter sandwich. 
I uh, made me a peanut butter sandwich, uh, I had some milk, and I kept going to the fridge uh, a couple of times. So I went over to my sister's house, and I went into the refrigerator a couple of times. I went over to my mom's house, and I kept going into the refrigerator, and they, they, it made them call each other, and they would say, why is Kendra showing up to our house, just going to our refrigerator, making a sandwich and leaving? Well, I was getting into character. But at the same time, I wanted to feed the character. So that's how I was able to do that, to go ahead and just start annoying people. Amen. This, this movie is about being delivered. And I think for the most part, I think a lot of us, you know, when we come to Christ, you know, we think that we're gonna give our life to Christ and everything is over, but we don't realize that deliverance takes place every day. And that every day you have to renew your mind, every day you have to reset your button, just like video game, you know, you have to hit the reset button. And I think this film is really going to, um, it, it, it's, it's really gonna give a great perception of understanding that, you know, I mean, it's, it's a day-to-day it's a, it's a -day walk. People should definitely come out and see Science to Deliver because, I mean, several reasons. Number one, spirituality reasons. Um, I think that as people of today, you know, we're always uh, living in worldly things and fast cars and materialistic things and who has what and who's with who. And I just think that, yeah, that's human nature, but at the same time, if you don't have a spiritual base, if you don't have that you know, connection with God, then, you know, you're lost. And I think this movie, Science of Delivered, is gonna show how people love the world, okay? They're not perfect, obviously, but at the end of the day, they're gonna lean on God. I hope Science of Delivered accomplished people's lives being changed, people's lives being blessed, uh, I'm hoping that it, it will change the lives of those individuals who think that they have it all together, and they really don't. You can't do it by yourself. You can't do nothing by yourself. You have to have some kind of relationship with the Lord. And basically, that's what this film is talking about. You know, you got to get it together. Woo! I tried to tell y'all. Sign, seal, and deliver. You heard it from the cast. You heard it directly from the cast. So, well, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you come out and see Sign, Seal, and Deliver when it comes to your city, state. So stay tuned. Uh, lock in to ELE1.com. I am Frederick Alonzo. You guys be blessed and encouraged. God bless you.